Welcome back to our talk series, Terracotta University. My name is Dominique Lamley. I'm an artist. I work together with Anne-Marie Bouk. And I'm a lecturer at the Zurich University of the Arts. Today's speakers okay, are Loranita Teo and Tunga Siagian. Welcome. And let me mute some of the people who just joined us. I think it's already done, great. We will take a five minute break after the talk and then go on with our discussants. Our today discussants are Sarah Hager and Dalit Arnold. And before we get started, some usual remarks. As always, please note this talk is being recorded and it will be posted online after the event. And by participating, by joining in, you grant us permission to use your image, moving or still, and your voice in record. And for everyone, anyone listening in, please use the chat during the talk. We have two chat moderators, Ika Juliana and Maria Mattis, and they will be they will bring you back into the discussion. And you're of course always most welcome to directly uh, engage in the open discussion. Jonathan Ospina is our technical assistant. He's uh, recording this talk, does the post production, and then we'll upload the talk onto our ZHDK Department of Fine Arts YouTube channel. And it's a series of talks. Yeah. It's part of a seminar at the MA Fine Arts at the Zurich University of the Arts. And the seminar is co-designed by Boa Flux and Shativani Art Factory, together with also Space and the Willem de Kooning Academy. So, Having said this, let's get started. Loranita Teo on and Bunga Xiangyan's talk today is titled Thinking of the Invisible, the Intimate, the Small, the Sincere. Loranita and Bunga both live at Chativandi Art Factory. Loranita is a painter one of the co-founders of Chativandi Art Factory. She was born in North Sumatra, Indonesia, and graduated from the Institute Technology Bandung, and has been working since as an artist and as a core member at Chativandi Art Factory. She's also listed for the upcoming Jakarta Biennial. Uh, it was supposed to take place this November. I saw uh, online now that it's also postponed to next autumn 2021. So maybe some of us will be able to go and see uh, Loranita's paintings there. Bunga Siagian studied at the Driakara School of Philosophy. She has been a curator at Archipel Film Festival from 2013 to 2016 and is now the program director at uh, Chativani Cinemateca. And she is interested in taking image exhibitions, image screenings into public spaces. And together with Ismail Muntaha, he was the first speaker last Monday. She co-runs the Land Affairs Study Agency. They are addressing land issues with art, cultural landscape, and um, together like studying, addressing land issues and using art and cultural landscape studies for that. Loranita and Bunga, they will talk today about micro actions and intimate relations. We saw that Chattivani Art Factory runs some very large projects like the Music Triangle with uh, thousands of people. As important as these big events are also many small scale and micro actions that take place at Chattivani Art Factory. They are important for the collective spirit, as we will hear, and are central to the methods 
used at Chattivani Art Factory. Varanita Mpunga will tell us about Enin's spirit, the mother at the center of Chattivani Art Factory, and many more micro activities, including people of all walks of life. I'm very happy to hand over now to Bunga and Loranita. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we start. Okay, uh, we we sure that uh, after the last week, you all were engaged with the uh, engaged with uh, discussion with Arif, Ismail, and Gingi. And now we thought. Uh, Want, want to bet you have better understanding about what, why, how Jatiwangi art factory operated. And we think you also understand the significance of Telakata City for the community. And we wonder, after all, what kind of image pop up in your imagine, imagination about Jav? Uh, we we want to challenge you to to searching uh, about uh, Jatiwangi yeah, Art Factory uh, in internet. Please type a keyword Jatiwangi Art Factory on Google and tell, tell us. Me, yeah, tell yeah. us what kind of image um, you found. What kind of impression? you get, get after after one week following this talk and please describe on the column chat what yeah. you found berapa menit kita langsung ya 5 minutes maybe 5 minutes we will start uh, the talk after we see your answer on the column chat You can't type anything actually you see in the Google. Oh. Mozilla. <laughs> what image you found in there? <laughs> what is Equestria, Dr. Hergi? Tempel. 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 Wow. Okay, we got image, some image here. From Maria, oh, it's exhibition and a forum, I think. Forum do tujuan when people gather to discuss anything. Okay. Yeah, also festival, music, comic music festival, discussion. I search Jatangik community and I see many people together teaching scholars. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, if all the image are all about, you see the community, big community, dry landscape, 
the clay making facilities. Okay, yeah, uh, the colossal, monumental things, big things. Uh, then we humbly ask you to follow our path, to pause for the moment, all that impatient. After this, um, I will just read my text that I make because I don't know, uh, we are not mastering English language. I'm just afraid we lost in the structure. Um, so it's better to read and then later we discuss. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the government. Uh. Okay. Jeff, uh, do my voice enough? Clear? Clear? <laughs> Jeff founded in 2005. They used the name Jatiwangi Art Factory. If I ask you once again, what is art at the beginning of this Jatiwangi Art Factory? As Jav located in one area where there is no art in a term of what we perceive today as contemporary art or as idea or as conceptual art. How did they introduce themselves as an art community without art as something that visible in the term of normative art? I remember a question from one of you during Arif class. It seems like social project than art project. Where does the question coming from? Was it because you didn't see enough art in particular definition? Because all what you hear and see more like something as concept, idea, or activism? I imagine your position exactly the same with our neighbor. Contemporary art is something really far for them. Art for, for, for common people, painting, sculpture, or to be precise, craft. Of course, Jeff invites a lot of artists to do art in the village through various events. But who maintains to keep art itself visible in the daily basis? So people then recognize and believe Jeff as art community because art itself does exist as something they can sense. Can I share screen? Can you please repeat? Yeah. The, the last two sentences, we didn't really understand them. Yes, and the last two sentences. Can you repeat the last two sentences? Sentence? Okay. Of course, Jav invites a lot of artists to do art in the village in various events. But who maintain to keep art itself visible in the daily basis? So people then recognize and believe Jav as art community because art itself does exist as something they can sense. They can sense. Wait, I have to share something. Do you see my screen? Yes, it works very well. Thank you. At the beginning, these are art in Jatiwangan factory. Exactly before 2013, as Arif said, the moment when Jeff found a bigger direction and bigger dream towards future. Laura Neta Teo, popular called Yuma, was born in Jakarta, studied fine art in Bandung Institute of Technology. Absolutely the one and only artist, in the meaning a trained artist from art school in Jeff. So she used her knowledge and skill to do a lot of projects. What was her goal? What was her intention? Objective, issue, what's your concept? Things that we have to refer if you do an art project, right? You see this photo? 
you see the kit Twice in the on. middle <laughs> with the uh, hands up. That's nyanya. You my son. The only son. The only son. A week ago, when both of us preparing this talk, I asked exactly the same questions. Why did you do that? She said, simply because I want to follow Nyanya, her son. She did that so Nyanya, as a kid, have an access to different kind of life, to experience something different which is not available in the school or conservative environment. Art have a specific role for her, to give her son and friends Letter, letter called as Jatiwangi Kids, kind of playful and imaginative life to give an education to art. She found kindergarten for her son and friends with a method of door to door. She knocked each neighbor doors to demonstrate how this kindergarten will look like. Together with the kids, she made lots of art projects. She collaborate with Nyanya Elementary School and make a very good relationship with the head of school, Buntur. She do mural, painting, doing crafts, batik, making song, costume, radio drama. She use her skill from the art school ITB. She has an open studio in Jeff Kitchen, so her family and neighbor were able to join with her to do a painting to encounter what is art. Since that, she has been knowledge as drawing expert and people come for come to her for that business. Anything she has done so she could doing something together with her son and friends and later also with you my friends. At the beginning of job, these are some of art projects that happen in the village that have been maintained as part of everyday life, not in a form of festival or exhibition. Why for us to mention about art in daily basis is as important as the Pramik Music Festival that involves thousands of people, the Terracotta City that successfully involving the government, music concert, the Biennale, all the things that will be finished right after the event's done. Yet, but as a family, as a friends, as a relatives, partner, as collaborator, of course, we maintain our relationship daily and day by day in intimate and Bunga. small. Bunga. Sorry. Yeah. Hello, Bunga. Uh, I just read in the chat. Um, many are not native English speakers. So if, if you could speak and read a bit slower so that uh, we can understand. Thank you. Because I also think the sound, it has some echo. So that makes it uh, more difficult. So please just very slow. We have time. Okay, maybe I will. Okay. Why for us to mention about art in daily basis is as important as the Keramic Music Festival that involves thousands of people the Terracotta City that successfully involving the government, music concert, the Biennale, all the things that will be finished right after the event is done. Yet as a family, as a friend, as a relative, a partner, as collaborator, we maintain our relationship daily and day by day in intimate and small encounter. We put and build our trust towards each other day by day and what's important is the trust that art is not something far from our body and knowledge. It's here, close and meaningful. So the word involving is one makes sense to work for a collective action. Back to the image you have found in the internet, I guess you will not see the image that I show you tonight. Kids, that's what the invisible is from the title of this class tonight. Yet, to bring art as a daily part of your life is not easy. As an artist or someone who familiar with how the art world operate or work, we are being herded to follow their rule. You make an art project that fit with the taste of art public and structure. You have to have a strong basis or narrative, context, goal, or whatever you can sell. You took lots of photos and post it on social media so you can get public attention. 
in other words, art is something to create in the form of object or project. Can we do art routinely with and for our family, neighbor, and everyone outside the public of art? What I'm thinking with Yuma is, can we still do art in everyday life without any images as document as Yuma did? This question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe because the sound and sometimes has this echo. You maybe would like to stop from time to time and we could ask back what people understood and ask questions to what you've already said. And then we go on. Okay, uh, is it the, the sound really bad? It's sometimes um, it's it's fine. echoing. So, oh, really? The sound and ask into the round. Are there questions so far? Uh, things that you didn't understand or who would like to give a short summary of what we've heard already? Taking a little bit the job from the discussions. Maybe Sarah, you could already start your discussion part, just summarizing. Um, would that be possible? Yes, um, thank you very You're much, welcome. Uh, Veronica and Bunga. It's wonderful. extremely powerful to hear the uh, clarity. Okay, uh, maybe we move first. Maybe the internet connection, not, not good. Okay, let's take one, two minutes. Then, Sarah, thank you for shortly summarizing what we've already heard. And then we hand back over to Bunga again. Bunga and Loranita. Dada, can you hear me now? Sara, you sound, yes, that's, uh, I hear you well. Thank you. Um, I was opening by reflecting on the clarity of the vision that I heard from Lornita and Bunga about the way that life is lived in the small moments and how art belongs to those moments, um, not only to the festivals and um, the relationships that require some sort of performative action like the art publics or um, in a certain sense, the art market or the regulators who need to, in some sense, be involved um, in promoting what, what is a beautiful phrase, an object or project um, that in some very distinctive and important ways, the, the moments that make the method of art that enable these um, performative actions come out of intimate daily experience um, that's built in trust and uh, community action. That's what I heard um, so far and it was somewhat in um, juxtaposed to um, this idea of art as trained vocation or contemporary art as uh, something that belongs to a venerated sphere that's inaccessible to um, the people who may be able to use it as a mode of communication like the neighbors or especially uh, the development of the, the children in the kindergarten. And we heard the work that went into building this from the early stages into um, what is continuing to be a growing and thriving community. Thank you very much, Sarah. And Dali, she's our second discussant. Anything you would like to add at this moment to what uh, Sarah summarized from the talk? Thank you, Sarah. No, I think I don't have anything to add. She put it in very nice words. Thank you. For the ones who don't know, um, Dalit, she's the one that where it says Dada, and you can't see her mouth moving because we have to wear masks at the, the Zurich University of the Arts. I would like to mention one additional or make an, one additional remark. Bunga, you said that Loranita is one of the few, if not the only, professional artists. So we have an artist who's focusing on art infused in the everyday. 
not part of the general art market discourse. And she is the one who has professional training and is a painter herself. Having said this, I'm happy to hand over to Bunga again. Okay, um, now my sound, my voice sounds clear enough or? I think it's much better. How is it done in yeah. Milan? Yeah, it's uh, clearer than before. Okay, thank you. Okay, I will continue. What I'm thinking with Yuma is, can we still doing art in everyday life without any image as document as Yuma did? This question was popping up in my mind when I asked Yuma to collecting again what she has been doing and she only managed to get some photos. She didn't treat what she doing as an art project. She do because she has to do. No need a big frame, no need a proper documentation, simply because she wants doing something for her son, for very personal and sincere reason. This personal motive is what I define as endurance. Endurance is not something related only to the concept of time. I mean the question of how long, but also with something more fundamentally, the sincere as foundation. The this sincere also bring me to think about Amin, the mother of the house, biological mother of Arif, the mother of everyone in Jav, who stay in Jav. Everyone who came to job must be know her and feel welcomed by her kind gesture. A gesture that became a home you will be missed for all the guests, partner, friends, collaborator who come to job. I often talk with Nin and amaze how she said that she doesn't understand art at all. To questioning what, why, how were not something urgent for her. What's more important is to support her family as she felt positive about Jav. Since her husband passed away, uh, she afraid to be lonely. And Jav successfully made her house always crowd, full of crowded and she is happy. What she care about then is to make sure that everyone's or her expanded family really is full enough to do more activities. Sometimes she cut her trees and salt the wood so the kitchen keep running. Sometimes she spend her, um, you know, uh, personal money uh, for that. Sometimes we have no idea where the money come from. What inhabitants know is that there is a food on the table. Nin play an important role to maintain everyone to keep in motion. She became, not only that, she becomes the center and the spirit who drives the home environment. Caring to each other, I think the only that the only thing that we learn a lot and only from her, her sincere gesture, is a gesture of collective spirit. Jav have been survived for 16 years and being respected by the structure of the art world, not only because their endurance in the term of concept of time, but also because of their words. I personally would like to give a thinking and a space for things that sometimes not easy to talk and formulate it as a method. To think about the position of a nin, which seems unproductive in the term of artistic production. How to include nin silent and visible and invisible that in fact affecting the collective environment and habitat itself as part of the universe of Jatiwangi Affectory. Also, the practice of Floranita Teo, who routinely can constantly work in the Jav environment by involving a very diverse uh, local people, mothers, kids, female traffic police, teachers, batik craftsperson, small actions that are often invisible, compared to the big events and programs 
terms of Jati Wangi Art Factory yet affecting the environment and infrastructures. Don't you think that what I just uh, that we, that what we just share with you are the signature action or non-action Nin and Yuma as the form of agency? I want to continue this reflection into another question. What is agency? Uh, the text of my other doll, Making Line and Medium, really helps me to navigate this question. She won't say it. Yeah, you can, you can read this text. Yet, even as it's necessary to identify and problematize the actual actuality of gender labor, norm typifying certain patterns of female labor of administration, assistance, care, and creation, Permit me to indulge in an exercise in pursuing a counterintuitive line of thought about the potentiality of women's maintenance work above and beyond its actualizations in a structure and logic of patriarchal domination. What if invisibility is neither a symptom of her secondary status nor a lack? An agency has less to do with making visible actions and declarative enunciations that lay claim to autonomy, critique, or opposition. What if agency means actions or non-actions that are far less invested in idioms of visibility? What's beside visibility then? I really like the text of May. It opened the possibility for us to define, to naming our, our own practice, woman practice. Sometimes I found that as a woman, being able to visible is not only something that uh, that not everyone could afford, but also for some women in Southeast Asia context, to be visible in the term of liberal def definition uh, is not something desirable. So to expand our definition of agency to include all kind and all type of woman role is a gesture of it's the gesture of, I don't know, maybe to understand ourselves. I think that's enough uh, for first. Maybe um, I hand over back to Dominic and then we can talk to Lalanita Peiro. Thank you very much, Bunga and Loranita, for this exciting and I think very, very important topic and uh, speech that you had. I suggest that we go for five minutes, short break, getting up, moving around, and then I, we will start with uh, Dalit as a discussant and then hand over to Sarah. concerning agency, what I already mentioned this, but I will find out enough. And Dalit is also an artist, actually, she's also a painter, and she is specifically interested in of cultural heritage. And she also, in her art, is connecting it to very personal. Living in two different uh, cultural environments, and she's interested in how to combine this, how to synthesize, or how to deal with the differences. And then we have uh, Zara Hager as second discussion, and she's a candidate in the Global Studies program at Humboldt University in Berlin. And she's currently working on theory in the context of Global South. She's especially interested in the aesthetics and the connections of aesthetics across traditions, which is interesting as aesthetic also, of course, is a term that in theory is linked to a particular tradition. So we will very much looking forward to what uh, Sarah in future has to share with us on this. But now, first of all, I hand over to Dalit. Thank you, Dalit. Thank you, Loranita, and thank you, Bunga. Um, thank you for this um, 
interesting talk. And I will first summarize and then, um, um, yeah, I was struggling at the end with a certain, with the word agency to get it right. I will ask you then. <laughs> so um, we first had a sort of a definition of what is Satyavangi Art Factory and what you get out from the internet. And the discussion if there is um not really art visible or art as we know it in the contemporary definition or the contemporary art definition and uh, which leads automatically to the question what is art and if the social if this there is a so, more social program and where you don't really see the art and and uh, i understood that it's more a concept an idea and of activism and the art exists as something that you can more uh, sense in in stuff um, it is daily practice that you celebrate in festivals and several traditions and events where the community is very much involved and um, everyone can give his knowledge um you were talking about that to bring art to your daily practice or your a daily thing is not easy and therefore the documentation is very important it is a it becomes actually an intimate daily experience with which is maybe juxtaposed to art as a trained uh, position um and I, I found that the um, example you brought with the mother of the house, uh, Nin, that she is actually um, sort of as a center and spirit who drives the job, but she is more, uh, it, it's kind of invisible. And you talked about the, the care work she does and the su support she gives and that it is a gesture of collective spirit um, which if i understood right and i think also can be seen also as sort of also as an as an as an art and we talked about this um, invisible small actions that contributed to the community and uh, this text for, of May Adadol, I really liked it, which talks about the maintenance uh, work of mostly that mostly women make. And then this sec this part where she says, "What if invisibility is neither a symptom of her secondary status, so the woman's secondary status, if I understood right, nor a lack." And agency had less to do with making visible actions and declarative enunciations that lay like claim to autonomy, critique, or opposition. What if agency means actions or non actions that are far less invested in items of visibility? Which I found for me a very new and interesting thought. And but um, I want to clarify the term agency exactly what it means. If someone, I mean, it doesn't have. I would like to hand over to Bunga and Laura Nita. I think the agencies or terms have different definitions depending on thought context. I would like to ask uh, Bunga and, and Laura Nita from what you've been sharing with us. What does agency mean in that context? What were you sharing? Uh, in our context or um, the text theory. on the text? You decide. You might say that. Yeah. 
uh, uh, we in daily daily activity uh, we not to we not to care about <laughs> about uh, theory but just yeah but just uh, doing and not uh, treat, pretend mm. pretend like agency like that i guess mm -hmm. i guess doing my my duty as a mother like that and uh and if uh, and while uh, people or uh, uh, people or scholar uh, uh, yeah uh, uh, try to describe uh, our activities uh, our uh, mothers activities like agents uh, agency uh, yeah we we feel yeah we feel awkward <laughs> we feel yeah not nothing about that uh, so we not to to care about documentation or by writing <laughs> about that uh, like that um uh when my friends from the cities my my scholar uh scholar friend uh now uh when yuma yuma make a kindergarten in the village they very excited and advise yuma to make a school alumni nature nature school nature it's school. it must be sweet uh in your in your yes. place and i just uh confused <laughs> <laughs> why we must to make a, a nature nature school because daily nature life we, we we live in the nature uh, maybe you uh, that should make a nature school in in the city <laughs> like that uh, in in our place uh, it's it should uh, it should be uh, make a school that have more regulation regulation sense of regulation like that like, because we we uh, uh, yeah uh, we have uh, our regulation our traditional regulation but maybe not suitable with the the modernized with the uh, uh, change since yeah, uh, not sweet with the uh, change condition, uh, like uh, in a traditional in a traditional daily life, we we have not uh, packaging for for food, and in the modern life, no. Uh, yeah, we we live with the plastics. So we uh, in the traditional life, we we no need the regulation for throwing the the uh, packaging because packaging is made from uh, banana leaf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That. So, so uh, yeah. So uh, we have to learn how to. Uh, understand about the uh, uh, new regulation to to face uh, globalization like that.
Yeah, I think uh, what, you, what you might just explain, I think it's, uh, it's really, you know, it's, uh, it's really clear to, to make, uh, you know, to define what kind of agency for women in, in our place, because um, I know agency is the word that common in gender studies. That's why I think uh, what you might just say, agency in the meaning of doing or action, doing action for a goodness for herself, for her family, for environment. I think uh, it's coming from the specific needs uh, of her, where her body located. I mean, it's really different with the agency in the liberal, liberal terms. It's, you know, it's related to the autonomy, uh, to be visible and to be, um, you know, to be have, you know, to be, you know, sometimes in 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 our context, uh, it's it's became a binary position between uh, women uh, who have access to be visible and those that work, uh, but. But you know, uh, not not really fit in the in the box of you know a woman representative of liberal agency, and so I think yeah, um, what what you must say about agency for her is I don't care actually is it feasible or not, is it uh, our my my projects. Um, not project for me. My, yeah, she said it's not project for me because it's more like <laughs> this is my having I'm fun, <laughs> and fun with having my fun son. With, with her son. And yeah, and I think in in my text, my text also also refer to agency in the in the mean of like what you must say. Thank you. Got it. Shall I hand over to Sarah, or would you like to add something? No, I think uh, um, Bunga put it now very, very clear. And um, yes, it makes me think because just like a few days ago, we had this text about maintenance. And I think we try here always we have this now try to make this invisible work visible and somehow, yeah. So th this really is an interesting point. Thank you very much. So I'm happy to hand over to Sarah. Thank you, Thank you very much again, um, Lorenita and Bunga for your insight and for the inspiration and the stimulation that they have provided to me and I think everyone here. Um, Rereading the quote that you brought to us, I was feeling a slow dawning of uh, webs of association. If we, for me, I wanted to see where I could go to take a step beyond um, this uh, logic of patriarchy that was, was written into the quote and saying where other places might we see um, virtuous invisibility as a way um, of describing it. And it drove my mind, um, not only in the European tradition, but in many traditions into uh, monasticism. And um, there's different languages for words for this in different languages. Um, in Chinese, it might be like a, something like Wu Wei, which is effortless action or um, in the uh, European tradition, the way that monks would um, copy and hand illuminate these beautiful manuscripts, um, spending much of their life studying uh, techniques and working over candlelight, but never for authorship, right? In this, um, these religious communities, which are um, of course full of diversity and particularity, but there seems to be this, um, at least some family resemblance, some, some things we can see happened in the same sort of way in different contexts. 
And I find that very interesting um, that when we look to a spiritual leader or we look to these monastic traditions, we elevate um, this kind of selflessness. We think of these people as being, um, whether or not we have share their metaphysical commitments in any particular tradition, somehow leading a devoted and um, maybe even a holy life. And yet somehow um, in modernity, in the context that we've built, when we have these people in our life every day, when we have mothers, when we have friends, um, when we have enablers who help to nurture us and our work into what we are and what we will become, somehow um, we've lost that action, that connection to the action that seems to me to be very parallel. Um, and I think wrapping up that thought where I would put the cleavage um, maybe between what I've heard at Jatavani and the maintenance art or in our um, some of the contexts that have developed here around the, the Western feminist movement um, is at this point of appreciation. Like Inan in this context in Jatavani is considered a soul, is considered um, an enabler that you almost, it sounds to me, and I uh, please correct me if I've misunderstood, um, everyone feels very intimately the, the gratitude for what she brings to the community. And because of the layers of meaning that we've overlaid in some context on this kind of work, um, the fight for visibility might be a response to a lack of connection to the work itself because it's undervalued. And so the need to make visible what is hidden um, is because the, it's not about the visibility necessarily, perhaps, um, I hypothesize, it may be about um, the valuation that underlies the visibility because the structure says only by being visible do we have value. And where we connect that back to the documentation question with Jatavani is there's this, um, I don't wanna say that it's a conflict necessarily, but let's say it's a complexity, right? There's um, a desire to act effortlessly, to act joyfully, to do and be art and artist. Um, but there's also access, and we talked about the political uses of art and there's um, value into speaking to these publics um, that enable the other side. And so I think the relationship um, is there, there's a need, right? And that's why the documentation is done at all because it has a logic, um, but it's not a total logic. And um, I would even take it a step further. There's a great value for us who are enjoying this class and having the opportunity to hear from all of you and to ask you questions um, that without your documentation and without your visibility right now, we wouldn't be able to access and learn from um, what you are doing. And so um, with that, I'd like to just end on, on a question. And I, it, it may be a little bit uh, esoteric, but I really want to understand for you to the extent that it can be articulated and it may not be possible, what art in daily life feels like. Um, and if we can even really connect to that where we've become so utilitarian, like, okay, at four o'clock I go to the studio and I do art instead of I live art. And it goes, those are my words. So thank you again. And I'm looking forward to hearing uh, your impressions. Thank you, Saru. Thank you very much. Bunga Loranita. Um, Dominic, can you help us to make sure make the, the question? Okay, I'll um, phrase it differently and I'll ask uh, Sarah then come to come back in in the open discussion you had. Uh, I'll take the question to slightly a different perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been sharing with us the art in daily life, togetherness, experiencing joy, not a project in the sense of now I do work, but mm -hmm. bringing people together and it's part of one's joyful life. 
Now we have heard a lot of talks last week and these topics, togetherness, art as part of one's life, being an enabler, but not visible as an author, because at the end it's about everyone joining in. So I'm asking what you are describing is actually, could we say the heart of the dynamics at Shativani Art Factory. What do you say about that? Is it sort of the heart that thrives? Chatiwani Art Factory's v v um, view and attitude and agency, or do you see differences? Maybe we can also book at Loranita. I mean, what I'm saying is. Uh, okay, I try to, okay. <laughs> to answer. Uh, maybe uh, in my, my perspective, yes. Uh, as an individual artist, uh, compare with the collective, Collective uh, artist, <laughs> collective artist. <laughs> because Jeff uh, mostly um, more uh, like a big performance uh, uh, events uh, uh, and. Kesepakatan. Uh, kesepakatan apa sih? Kamu understanding apa ya? Kesepakatan besar, maksudnya. Oh, like yang... Um, hmm, janji ya. Like... Uh, promise. Huh? Promise? Oh, yeah, like like a big promise. Uh, at that event, uh, uh, Jatiwangi Art Factory uh, always make event to to engage the people for big deal. Yeah, yeah, to declare. Declare, declare, to declare uh, something, apa, something, apa, purpose, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, big, yeah. big purpose, like that, uh, and like celebration uh, for, uh, for declare, <laughs> for declare, and uh, for, for me, for me, um, maybe uh, uh, celebration is not just in uh, apa, uh, a special event, <laughs> but uh, celebration is in our daily life like that. Not uh, not sure big, but uh, we we can enjoy that. We can enjoy our daily life. We try to maintain our happiness like that. Thank you very um, much. I think I opened the uh, move to the open discussion, and actually, would I like to have Bowo coming in. Um, just switched off his camera a second ago. So I don't know if he's ready because he's been sharing um, similar impressions on how art is connecting with uh, everyday life. Rowa? Or anyone else coming into yeah. to the open discussion? Yes, Niels, please. 
There's also something already from Bernadette. Bernadette, is it answered? No. Please uh, go ahead. And it's first draft people. Huh? And it's first draft people talking. Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, thank you very much. It was very interesting in your talk, and um, I'm very interested in uh, the quote you brought from me, Daniel. Uh, and I was also a bit surprised also with this um, parallel. It's like uh, also about the women's position because last week uh, Arif was saying like Chati Bambi is a, should be, should feel more like a, the mother earth and not, not so much like in patriarchal uh, structure. Um, but here you are talking about this. Um, so I would be very interested if you could just to understand this picture of this quote also, and I'm very interested <laughs> in how is the position of, uh, uh, of, of a woman, of women and the female artist in Jatibangi especially. Can you describe or reflect compared to a patriarchal structure? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This uh, question for, uh, for Bernadette, yes? How is the role of women now in Jatiwangi? As it is important to understand your context. Uh, yes, uh, in uh, local government, <laughs> in uh, village local government, uh, the role of women is already defined. Yeah. Defined in a uh, uh, a village program for women mm, that, that called as a PKK. PKK what is PKK? Persatuan. Oh, yeah. yeah, like like, <laughs> like women association. Uh, official women association that uh, I think the program is already nice because uh, that's come from a uh, uh, central government that already formulated with uh, scholars and yeah professor professor, professor. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. formulated by uh, many parties yeah many parties and already good good uh, concept but but maybe um, for uh, villagers, uh, especially women villagers uh, in uh, in several years, the past years, past years, uh, maybe not to too much uh, women that uh, have a uh, uh, apa? Apa? Uh, cans, yeah, uh, for uh, study in a high level. Uh, so maybe the concept is to to apa ya? To middle class, <laughs> to to canggih, to to high tech. Yeah, high to high. Yeah, very uh, to sophisticated. Yeah, yeah. Sophisticated. yeah, to sophisticated for a. Uh, Simply, uh, mother, mother, uh, yeah. Sim simply, mother in in our village. Maybe they not understand, uh, not really understand about the uh, the concept. Uh, and because they not have uh, the con uh, don't understand the concept. Uh, sometimes uh, they misunderstanding about 
about uh, the translation. Yeah, Mr. Translation about the official official program for government. Uh, for example, uh, the government uh, advised the the villagers to make uh, e event. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, every 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 ten ten houses have to uh oh uh every ten houses should make uh, like a uh, association mm -hmm. a little association yeah. for like uh, uh collecting money to saving money yes saving money that uh 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 Take, take turn to to get the money like a lottery like that and also uh, every 10 houses uh, should uh, have a, a space for kids and uh, take turn to care the kids like that mm -hmm. like that but uh, but in apa in the practice uh, in the reality in the reality practice uh sometimes not like that uh sometimes the mothers just uh, uh gathering just for gossip and <laughs> just yeah sometimes uh, for business <laughs> is a uh, positive side they sell everything uh, but not uh, to but not have a uh, uh, concern about uh, a better life like that so uh, so we <laughs> we try to like hack hacking hacking the government government program but in our our own way so we we make two uh, ten, 10 houses a program but uh, more more have uh, yeah uh, more have uh, vision not vision more have uh, meaning oh. yeah yeah uh, meaningful like we have to uh, why we not uh, planting our uh, our place to more uh, yeah more comfortable for us maybe other photo <laughs> we can show you in uh, our neighbor in in my house in uh, Yes, because uh, in jet uh, this in Jatiwangi Art Factory, uh, even the the place uh, already already huge, already big, but uh, we 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 still need another another space. So we move in a. Uh, our our uh, Arif and I uh, uh, move to spirit with the uh, uh, big family to make uh, to get our uh, private yes. <laughs> private private space. So we we move uh, another block from uh, uh, not not to not to far the uh, uh, the river from uh, Jav so this is a uh, in in the right in the right uh, picture it's uh, before and in the left is after that in the right uh, before we hacked uh, the the government program <laughs> Uh, to make uh, something with 10 houses 
uh, yeah, select that the condition no plant no too much no, gossip yeah too much gossip <laughs> no apa sih uh, merawat uh, taking animal care. taking care this uh, yeah not planting no apa mayara ikan <laughs> Yeah, after after we we move in the uh, this block, so the the space more green, green and every house have a pool to. Apa sih? Caring to to have uh, fish. Yeah, to to fish. <laughs> <laughs> like that, not having gambar ini. It's can, not. Can we come back to my question? It's very interesting that I I ask this question about women and women artist position because who is the invisible? Who is the um, with the person with the invisible agency? So is it? Um, mostly the women in Chatibangi or so that's why I asked what is the woman position because you gave this um, text or maybe you have another reason why you gave this text but that's why I was interested in the female position or who is the is it for you also like this that it's the woman the invisible or it's just an example mau dilanjutin yang ITB coba coba tuh ada kesadaran dokumentasi baru banget baru <laughs> oh. maybe someone can translate from yeah maybe a book I think the question goes maybe more to you um so it's still I can repeat but if I immediately then we'll hand over to Bowo so first Um, Loranita, the question was the role of the women, where are the women, the visibility, invisibility. But before we go that track again, Bowo, mm -hmm. you also joined in to Yuma's talks. Mm -hmm. Would be interesting to hear your feedback and how you connect what Loranita and Bunga have been sharing with also the other talks. <laughs> <laughs> As talk is, I'm not here because I go to the toilet. But yeah, uh, for me in here in Jav is everything is can happen, or maybe it's depend what your what you your bring to so, or a lot artists can. before uh, but that not a lot work the concept is not work rising from the people in from the Jatiwangi or from Jav the area and all I think it's better if uh, if people who's come to Jatiwangi is just put the background on their place and just come to here and see what what happening in here and yeah accept that accept that happen and yeah just respond the 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 happen happening in here like that with your yeah something like that Dom Dominic thank you Bawa I have okay. To Bernadette, maybe if you could phrase your question with just a few words, not too long, and then we go back to Loranita and Bunga, and please share your other question as well in the chat or come into the discussion after that. Do so they Bernadette, hear us well enough. Maybe there is also an audio. Like Bunga, do you hear what Bernadette is saying? Yeah, yeah. 
Probably that's why I asked Bernadette to rephrase it very yeah. soon. In invisible, yeah, what is in May text, invisible, mm -hmm. what, you're not ca what you can't see, the agency, what you can't see. You, you, you understand? What's the question? If the invisible agency is mostly on the women's side, or if it uh, is meant to be uh, like that all villages are made by this invisibility, in like this kind of making art, what they described. Who is it? Because they named the grandmother, and, in, or, and then there was this text. Uh, about the female invisibility, or did I understand her wrong, or can someone help? <laughs> you there's one Bernadette says the visibility, the agency, how are they connected? Is this is there an invisible agency which is only from the side of women, or are there other sides of uh, invisible agency. Yeah. Okay, maybe. Um, I think uh, the concept of, you know, the, the invisible, um, of course, not only uh, for the woman, um, if we, you know, if we, put Jaff in the position uh, between in the between of the big scale of development. Uh, for example, we are we are the we are the invisible ones. I mean the development is always have a big concept and not involving the, the small community. Uh, we are in the position of this invisible. Um, but for this uh, what we have been share, um, I think uh, to talk about women, uh, it's related to to give you a big context um, in Indonesia post ninety eight post uh, reformation. Uh, there is a new wave of Islamic movement um, where. You know, before, before, maybe before 2000, Indonesian woman not wearing hijab. But now, I think it's already 18, 80% of uh, Java Island, woman in Java Island wearing hijab. Uh, that's all, that's all, of course, related also to, you know, the concept of the good woman in Islamic. Uh, definition that has been hijacked by the Islamic movement, not the Islamic movement, because before 2000, we have uh, two biggest Islam Islamic uh, organization called NU and Muhammadiyah and, and those organization quite moderate. Uh, and after 2000, maybe it's also related to uh, the the Middle East conflict and uh, and the politic that happened in there and also in here uh, we have that that similar movement that that you know uh, that it's more not more purification so uh, and that's put woman put girls in a position to become more you know more um saleh saleh what is saleh um good 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 in the meaning of in a hijack definition of islam which is uh your your or your value is also defined by by what you wear, what you wearing, uh, and that's uh, that's the bigger big big context. And for the small context in Jatiwangi, the new wave of industry, 
with lots of uh, fabric fabric yeah. factory, factory. Uh, <laughs> most of the girls are working in the factory not not uh, not like before um, so actually women is very very active in here um, what what Yuma has shared before about the the PKK organization she, she talk more about ibu ibu mother houses but for the girls uh, every girls I think more busy than before because after finish the school they already have a job in the factory so I think yeah um, maybe I hope it will answer your question. You were talking about the invisible. So I want. So who is it in your book? Yang dipermasalahkan invisible. Tapi kita kompetitif pun itu. Ding. Hello. Yes, hello, Isma. Yeah. Maybe I try to respond or adding some uh, connecting to the Bernard Wright uh, question. I, would, I don't know my what? my what? voice. No, there is still the we hear the rehearsal behind you. Oh yeah. But I think and you if you raise your voice we will be able to understand yeah. uh yeah i think <clears throat> yeah bunga already mentioned and but then i don't know what you mean about the invisible uh when you're asking about the invisible in uh, bunga stock i think it's what i get is first is about uh if it, the invisible is like the make the micro activity and also uh that uh, for this context that Yuma did and also what uh, Nin, about the Nin roles or our mother's roles, uh, I think that what uh, Bunga tried to share about the context of invisible. But then for the more bigger context in the Jatiwangi, I think uh, like when you asking like the invisible agency mostly on the woman's side, uh, for some how yes because we living in the patriarchy's uh, culture like Sundanese and also Japanese but then in here I mean compared to another places in here it's more a kind of in the a strong uh, hierarchy or patriarchy taste but but yes, like mostly of the mother house, the woman here, uh, role of the mother house, and then, uh, yeah, uh, doing the domestic things. But, but, I, but like uh, Bunga mentioned uh, as well, I think like most of the roof, roof tile worker also a woman, which is in that uh, context. I we really didn't see so much uh, hierarchy. I guess I don't know. Uh, it's uh, uh, yeah. This my response. <clears throat> and but for the but then the interesting uh, phenomenon now for me like when the new industrial wave came, like the modern industry, uh, the role kind of switching. I, I guess Yuma also did some uh, collaboration about this or some project about this uh, because mostly of the woman, the, mostly the one who working in the in the modern factory is the woman and then the husband is like taking care of the children, I think. Uh, yeah, because the new, the new modern factory, uh, they more need a woman, for example, for the garment factory, like, uh, and yeah, and the husband like a, 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 a role in the yeah taking care of the children and then uh, drive the his uh, wife to the factory and then pick up again when they come back. <clears throat> I think it's, that's 
a bit uh, situation in here now. Please, man. So we've got about five minutes. Unga, Loranita, or any. We have about five minutes left. So please, Maranita Punga, anyone who would like to ask some questions. Last round of five to six questions, depending on how long they go. Yes, I. Oops. In the you should switch off your sound, uh, Dalit. You are, we hear you through the room. You can oh, mute yes. your uh, laptop. So. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. Thank you. Um, yes, I, I have a question. I mean, um, you described this role of Nin, if I'm not mistaken, if this is the name, which, um, yeah, it's, I think this is, is um, it reminded me also a bit of, People maybe I used to have in my family for of another generation, which are really like, I don't know, holding up together a whole family or community and there are somehow a, a strength and a force which is invisible in the back and, and, and their interest is not like, like, I mean, Sarah also described it that the, they don't have, they don't, never want to have this authorship. And, and I feel that nowadays in our society, we also always, everyone wants to have for everything more authorship for everything that is done. And then I was, I was wondering how you, if you also feel that this position of a person like Nin and this mother house is slowly like, fading away from society, or do you think there will be someone who, who would replace her? Um, sorry, I lost your, your last word, the last one. If you think that um, this is a, a phenomenon or a position that is, like, that is going away from the society or is fading away, or do you think that there will be someone who could re replace her? Because I have the feeling that in my environment nowadays here in Europe, there are less and less people who are willing to do work without having an authorship. Maybe someone can explain it better. <laughs> yeah, actually, I got your question, uh, but I I didn't get it when you say who will replace this. We cannot relate this question because. Um, Actually, um, the, the situation is not that this position is fading away, but when we put this talk and mention Nin, it's related to Jatiwan uh, Factory as, uh, as a collective. Because uh, I think in the art world, um, it's, it's quite, you know, um, it's not often to, to include something abstract as your method. We were, you know, as a rigid, rigid concept, how to explain about, about the feeling, because what means provide for us is a feeling, spirit, and, you know, maybe it, it sounds abstract as a method, but it is, it is really happening in here. Uh, but for Lin position itself, uh, and also in most of, in our culture, um, the position of mother, especially in, in Sundanese, 
opposite of parents is quite um, you know it's 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 it, it became the 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 center it's quiet as a hierarchy the position is on the top uh, but then again in 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 in, in case uh, i think what's interesting is because you know what she do is to give 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 even she don't understand what what what's that what is it about she don't understand what is art she don't understand why people keep coming why what are you doing and anything years by years uh because she just tell me that oh i just understand like maybe three years back or four years back while just the one factory already running for 16 years but see uh the always giving gesture and attitude i think uh it's it's uh it's not easy to to formulate it into um art collective method but do you think in your generation this is also something that uh, would happen or do you think it's really something that is only in this generation before you uh, oh okay so it's your question is that's a new generation but is it will change for me uh, yeah for new generation for new generation or Do you think after Nin is gone, for example, there would be other people in the second generation that that could have that or give that? Because I feel that in, in my society, this is like not existing so much anymore, like before. This is my feeling. Thank you, Dalit. I think um, it maybe also fits uh, Arief's question that he posed. Bunga, you're reading it in the chat. Maybe you can, uh, and Bowo has in the chat translated the question already. Bunga, maybe you can repeat the questions and then you both answer. So this question comes from Arief. Arief, yeah. From, for Bunga and Yuma. Yang mana? Bunga, can you first rephrase the question and then answer it? Thank you. Why? Why choose Ismail and Arif as your husband and live in Jatiwangi while the opportunity in Jakarta is much greater? To be a film creator or Yuma to be a painter? Many curators regret living in Jatiwangi. Yuma first. <laughs> hmm. I may, before you answer, so that gives me some time answer just for everyone so everyone understands the question yes uh, Yuma is a painter i mean she will show her work now then in the jakarta Biennale. um bunga is a film curator and has been working as a film curator in jakarta and so now and we both are married to bunga to ismail yuma to Arya, and they live with their husbands in chatiwani art factory so Isma was already at the Chatiwani Art Factory working with Arya, and Bunga then moved to live with Isma, and that they both have a baby together. And Arya, Enin is actually Arya's grandmother. So Yuma joined Arya back to live in Chatiwani. And that's why Arya is now asking these questions to both of you. I mean, you're um, about this question of visibility invisibility being women now you are two women with professional lives film curator painter and as bunga said now the question is what made, made you marry uh, these both and decision to go there thank you bunga and loranita for giving me the time to explain to everyone the background of the question so it's all yours <laughs> uh, you first. Why choose 
Arif as a husband and live in Jatiwangi. Uh, I choose I choose Arif not uh, 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 at first I'm not just Arif for the living in Jatiwangi. That's uh, honestly like that because uh, we have uh, we have our own gallery in Bandung before we we move to Jatiwangi. Mm. But uh, when I I got the kids, the only kid, because uh, I'm not uh, easy to to pregnant and have a kids. I thinking about the uh, the idyllic. Uh, place for my son and we discuss and we decide for uh, just Jatiwangi for not for uh, not just for uh, uh, to build to develop uh, uh, personal uh, my son personality but also uh, develop uh, his uh, environment like that so we we decide to to develop jatiwangi form from our son just seem to be simple like that this question has um, so many layers to answer, actually. Uh, but maybe I will I will explain with the concept of space. Uh, yeah, I was born in Jakarta and living the whole of my life in Jakarta. Uh, but I don't have a you know romantic concept of space uh, that makes me to stay in Jakarta. Um, I think it's, it's it's also related to, to you know uh, in in the in the partner partnership con the partnership concept uh, there is a concept of your uh, in Japanese there is a concept of yoni and linga uh, so this is uh, two parts that one is visible and one invisible but uh this 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 invisibility is take the role as um you know as uh the supporting system and also the 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 ground for the for the for the other ones and i think for the concept of uh the partnership it's also important to know uh, when and and in what it in what moment uh we have we you know we, we we share we share our visibility um like you know why 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 i move here because i think um i still do something without really um uh from everywhere i mean the, the concept of mobility is more fluid uh i think it's it's time for ismail to to you know to to have a uh, her, her, her chance and then I'm and also because I'm take I'm giving a birth to my daughter two years ago and then I need like you know break and more focus for taking care of her so it's so we just we just uh, sharing uh, role uh, I mean dividing divide uh, our role which when and for and in what moment we can, uh, you know, to, to, to have an action for our, our as individual. Thank you. Reinhard, you've also been sharing in the chat some thoughts on different understandings of collective. Reinhard, you're mute. Yeah, I did. I, I did not want to add too much, but uh, uh, just some thoughts, maybe in the notes or uh, later on. It's too complicated for now, I think. 
but uh, oh, I, if we talk about the invisible, I think uh, what I want to say. No, that's for later. But actually, I think you raised a very good point on um, that. I think from several questions now surrounding invisibility and collective, there are different understandings of the terms. And depending on the worldview you have, quest some questions are relevant, others do not even appear. This is also interesting. I yeah. Well, that. we talked about maintenance. And if you think of our practice uh, to bring in the whole construction that supports your uh, productivity, if you acknowledge that and bring it into your practice, then you bring in the invisibility as well. And what we sometimes see in, in European art practice <clears throat> is that they talk about invisibility, but only talk about it in an illustrative way. Uh, and that's why I wanted to bring it in that if you think about the, the, the city city, uh, mother city as Terracotta city, then you incorporate uh, these invisible uh, um, activities. Or it's also a choice to uh, understand these invisible activities as part of your practice, but not address it. So you can choose also. That's also what I wanted to, to say. In, instead of fetishizing, uh, fetishizing invisibility. And what sometimes, what uh, Yuma also said that her program of producing is some, sometimes it's also very logical. It's you just want to educate your son and through that you, you produce content. So bring in understanding the invisibility or bring in the invisibility without too much of a theoretical framework, but just uh, do it in action. That's what I wanted to share. And then another part is that it's nice to dive into it deeper, but how to be part of a, a collective and how to produce or be active in a, in a collective can have different understandings. You can be an individual or you can be part of the group. You can produce your own paintings and just be a volunteer for the group or, or yeah, you have different roles that you can play. That's what I meant with these words. And I think the explain, yeah, the, 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 what Bunga and Yuma just described, it just making it visible by just performing it or just sharing how you act or how you come to be suddenly in the land of Jatiwangi. Is that is that make does it make sense for you, Bunga or Yuma? Yeah. Oh yeah, I will show you uh, the time where I I how I stood visible in Ipb. <laughs> Jadi belum di kesini ya. Yang itu yang itu yang program yang apa yang gede itu. Oh iya. Ah ya. This. Wait. Yes. You can see this. Um, this yeah. is. Yeah, this is collaboration uh, program. Uh, women and uh, for women from ITB. Uh, ITB is uh, my apa? art university. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, they they asked to uh, they asked. Uh, for us to make a documentation, so we we make that. <laughs> <laughs> so she she documenting her activities just recently. Yeah. Yes, three years ago, I think. <laughs> yes, for <laughs> you. This is but this is interesting program. They uh, ask uh, the mothers. Uh, to 
making uh, craft like stationery, uh, tableware, and yeah, uh, apa lagi ya? Uh, stationery, uh, stationery, tableware uh, for 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 the apa? Hmm. Apa sih? Ya, yeah, buat ya yeah, like that lah. <laughs> And the the spirited uh, woman for uh, uh, some group for for a specialist uh, to make a special craft. So, coba. Oh, cuma ini aja. Yeah, that's uh, made from um, from. Roof tile, yes. We go to Kadus Ila factory to make uh, clay from uh, roof tile, but it's not working because the the media, the crack, crack, crack. Bukan, yeah, the element, yeah, uh, roof tile is. The yeah the the clay for rooftop is different for craft like that. Yeah, so her point is because this is a official project from her university, so it has a documentation. Thank you. So our time's up. This last round, uh, Sarah is still on the list. Who else would like to? say have the last question or statement please give me a sign Sarah just wait for a second I'm gonna have a look anyone giving me a sign no so it will be Sarah last question Bunga Loranita oh hello hello what a beautiful girl responding to it please Sarah go ahead um thank you again everyone for the talk and for the discussion and to Bunga and uh, Laura Nita especially. Um, what I wanted to ask um, is a kind of question that is based on how it feels or your experience um, to have art at the center of life uh, each day. Because um, although you've been doing this for a long time, I guess at one time it started and art was not in every day um, before and now it is a part of the everyday. So, what is it like um, to feel constantly in touch with with being an artist and doing art uh, rather than having it set aside as like um, a work or a labor activity? Yes, in the simple uh, example. Uh, Oh. Sorry, uh, could you uh, can you uh, make a short your uh, question? Yeah, I can maybe say it more succinctly, shorter. Um, when you made art about everyday life, what mm -hmm. changed? What changed in your experience? Oh, what change? Uh, what change uh, in the situation or? Maybe, yeah, um, maybe just like or understand in the chat maybe. Yeah, um, I can also put to the chat. I'm just asking about what it was like for you from your story, like what in your life uh, as individuals changed when art became central to your everyday life. Yeah, for example, uh, uh, I I mostly uh, teaching my son uh, because uh, uh, there's a time in uh, my my son life uh, he is uh, uh, learning studying. Uh, 
with the uh, homeschooling homeschooling apa met method yes uh, because uh, we yeah that's the time uh, uh, we we already uh, we 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 apa ya? <laughs> yeah we not just uh, stay in Jatiwangi but uh, also uh, uh, traveling in uh, Jakarta Bandung like that so uh, my my son cannot uh, cannot school normally then uh, 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 my son study with the homeschooling method in and I teach uh, myself uh, with uh, mostly with the art the art uh, the, the, the art uh, approach uh, and and my son uh, uh, and yes we try uh, we try to encourage encourage my son to to make a performance to teaching teaching uh, with a video like that uh, and uh, the yeah the video uh, showed the uh, artistic like and so on so on uh, with the music with uh, the the purpose that uh, the my my son uh, should can teaching their friend eh their friend sorry uh, her eh, his friend um, yes so uh, we we make uh, a lot of videos like uh, yeah uh, yeah as a like a video art to teaching uh, his friend uh, that uh, actually uh, he is uh, teaching for uh, himself like that sorry sorry <laughs> noise <laughs> thank you you must the same kind of cycle that we've seen now for many projects someone yes. involved someone doing things together and then it's a spiral a participatory spiral so i'm active within one thing i'll do that with others and then these with others so that's why it's spreading expanding and uh, being nurtured by many and that's also why the author is maybe just an enabler to doing something in that line so the time's up uh, it's, I'll say a round of thanks, and then for the last statement, Yuma, I will then hang, hand over to you again, so you will have the last word. But before I do that, let me mm. thank you from my heart, Yuma, Bunga, for this great talk, Dara, for being a discussant, Dalit, for being a discussant, and all of you for sharing in, joining, and participating. Thank you very much. And now for the last word, I hand over to Yuma. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone. And uh, yeah. <laughs> it's last. Speakers don't care about us. <laughs> just making, uh, just maintenance our happiness like that. <laughs> With, yeah. <laughs> with the uh, artistic uh, way <laughs> thank you and goodbye <laughs> thank you thank you thank you so much